concerns are serious and substantial. For many of our citizens waking up across America to a government they do not recognize, the Articles of Freedom speak the voice of hope in a world seemingly gone mad. It is fitting that these articles came forth through ordinary citizens, though we, the people, for what has happened in our government and our country, country has happened because we because we have allowed it and we are the only ones who can fix it and save it now today in every state at this very moment the articles will be served on our elected officials with the expectation that the instructions they contain will be taken seriously and through these, we can find our way back to the Constitution. This ceremony is meant to honor God, our country, and our Constitution. To be a record of the conscious return of the people to fulfill their duty as citizens of America. To recognize our responsibility to ensure our Constitution is no longer trampled on and to hold our elected officials accountable to that fulfillment. Today is also a call for help. We are reaching up for the assistance of divine providence more than ever before. May the Articles of Freedom be sealed in the heart of good. May the energy we give here today as one voice go forth and be amplified across the nation until millions are raised up to stand with <laughs> and for the Constitution. So let us begin. Um, we will... Uh, I would like to invite Bill Moses to come up and lead us in prayer. Good afternoon. Uh, let's uh, give a moment of silence as I read this prayer. Almighty God, on this day, the 19th of April, the year of our Lord, 2010, we turn our attention to thee and to those who minister with thee to protect and guard this nation and the rights of free men. As we enter into this ceremony, we humbly ask for thy guidance, illumination, protection, and peace that we may know thy will for our beloved United States of America and the Articles of Freedom. To give us the strength, the energy, and the courage to do what is right. Protect those who are gathered here, our loved ones, and all who are standing now for the rights of free men, not only in this time together, but as we move forward to fulfill your plan. We ask thee to unfold us in that which you know will enable us to carry on the sacred trust given by our founding fathers. We are for all we are, or have, or ever hope to be, into this service for our country and fellow man. Unite us as one in heart, one mind, and one body. We give thee all credit for all good that may come from our humble efforts, and we ask thy great mercy and forgiveness for the wrongs which have been committed against the charters of freedom which thou gave to this world for the American people. May we carry on the torch of liberty that all on this earth may one day know the gifts and blessings thou intended for each of us. We offer this prayer to thee, our Creator and nature's God, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence. Amen. Just hopefully so that it was clear, I want the audience to know that prayer was recited every morning every day of the Continental Congress before we begin deliberations and our research. Um, now, uh, we're going to sing our hearts uh, love to America through our national anthem, and I'd like to invite uh, Scott Payne.
land of the free, home of the brave is one of our favorite slogans. You cannot be, you know, land of the free without being home of the brave. So thank you all for being here and being brave to support these ideas. Um, now I would like to uh, invite Scott to the uh, microphone to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, I just It would be my privilege. Let's put our hands on our heart. Say it like it's the first time we've ever heard it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen?